Let's move on here. The world-famous Raw Report. Monday Night Raw opened up with Becky Lynch coming out. And she went into the crowd and just started talking to these blokes. And luckily, they were all gimmicks. They knew what to do. And she's doing her promo about being back and wanting to beat everyone's, uh, you know, kick kick their butts or whatever. And then out comes Bailey. And Bailey limps to the ring. She looks like she can barely walk. And she gets in the ring. She cuts a promo on Becky. She challenges her to a fight. Becky's ready to fight, but then all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, come Dakota and Io. And they start brawling on the stairwell. And Becky starts running up these stairs. And all of a sudden, bro, you never saw Bailey run stairs as fast as she did with her allegedly bad leg. Man, she's sprinting up them stairs. And then they brawl up, and they're they're hitting each other with signs, and they're hitting each other with merch. The only thing they didn't hit each other with was like a, a foam hand. But they have this big brawl, and it gets broken up. And it was a good segment. I mean, it was fun. Becky and the crowd made her come off like a superstar. I mean, people were just going crazy for her. And she had the three on on uh, one on three fight, and you know, it was a it was a good segment to open up the show. A lot of excitement. Then we had a long, a long ass segment here. First, it's Rhea Ripley versus Meechin Mia Yim. And they come out and they wrestle for seven minutes. And it was actually a pretty good match, especially near the end. They did some they did some cool stuff. Mia looked way better than she did uh, the last couple of weeks. This was the best she's looked since she's returned. And then they're in the ring. Dominic gets on the apron and then into the ring. AJ runs down and he tackles Dominic. And they literally, they did a tackle and they bumped over both of the women, which looked like someone could have gotten killed. And the ref calls for the DQ. And then Priest, Balor, Anderson, Gallows run down. Big brawl. Styles grabs the mic. He says, you know, I thought this was over at Survivor Series, but clearly it's not. So uh, let's get a ref down here. Let's do an eight-man tag with these two women. So they do an eight-man tag with two women. And it's Rhea, Dominic, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, Mia Yim, AJ, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows. And they went 15 minutes. And as I mentioned last night on the Brian or the Dave Show, Wrestling Observer Radio, there's there's two types of matches on Raw. And they're all long, okay? The one kind of match is the match that's long, but it's exactly as long as it needs to be. And there were two of them on this show. The Street Profits match and the main event with Kevin Owens. Long matches, but they didn't feel a second too long. Then there's these. Long match, and it just felt like we got to put in some time here in this first hour. They went 15 minutes in this this eight-person tag. And it wasn't like an eight-person tag where it's like, tag, boom, big spot, high-flying, blah, blah, blah. It's like, we're going to get the heat on Luke Gallows. Then he made a tag, and then they got the heat on Carl Anderson. And they got the heat on Anderson for like nine minutes. They're just beating this poor bloke forever. And then finally the women get in there, and the people got into that. They did a couple of spots. Mia gave a big body slam to Dom, and then uh, Rhea Ripley kicked her from behind, Riptide, pinned her. Uh, this is far from over. And I don't know why they didn't do a Survivor Series match at Survivor Series, because, I mean, it would have been it would have been good. Montez and Angelo Dawkins are back. Chad Gable and Otis showed up and, and uh, set up a match for later on tonight. Bloodline segment. So they come out, and they celebrate what happened at War Games, and Sammy does his promo, and he says, you know, Jay, you didn't like me for a long time. Jimmy always liked me, but it was tough, and uh, man, you know, we did it together at War Games. And they hug, and the people go crazy, and then it's like Jimmy, Jay, and Sammy all doing this group hug, and they're like, come on, Solo, come on, and the fans want Solo to join the hug, and Solo's like, I ain't hugging. But then they're begging and they're begging and finally he starts to look over and Kevin Owens music hits. So we got six weeks or something like that till the Royal Rumble. We're doing a real slow build to Solo joining the group hug. Maybe they'll zoom out like the best friends. But anyway, Kevin Owens comes out and he says, you know, 
I'm not mad at you, Sammy, because I know why you did what you did. And we've been, we've been, they keep saying they've been friends for 20 years, which is irritating because they haven't been friends for 20 years, maybe in real life, but like in storyline, they've been friends, they've been enemies, they fought. They, I mean, it's been a very rocky 20 year relationship. But anyway, he goes, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to team with you. I, I turned on you plenty of times for the same reason you turned on me. But you know what? I'm just done with you. I don't want anything to do with you anymore, ever again. Sammy goes, good. I don't want anything to do with you. I don't want to team with you. I don't want to fight you. I just want you out of my life. And then Jay steps up and says, you know, if you got a problem with Sammy, you got a problem with me. And Kevin says, well, you know, I said I didn't want to team with Sammy. I don't want to fight him. But you know what? I want to fight you. Let's do it in the main event tonight. So away we go to the main event. Good segment. Candice promo. She uh, cuts a promo on Dakota Kai. And then we add uh, a segment backstage with Matt Riddle and Elias. Matt Riddle wants a team with Elias to go after the tag titles. Elias is like, bro, we've had one win. And Riddle says, come on, let's do this. And then Elias says, you know, I have never held gold here in WWE, which, in fact, he has, if you can't the 24-7 title. But he says, "I'd maybe I'd love to be the tag team champions. So the bloodline comes up. They said, never going to happen. But then Elias challenged them to a tag match. The Usos say anytime. Anytime, everybody, is next Monday night on Raw. Riddle and Elias are getting a shot at the tag team titles. I can't tell you how free I'd be if they, if they won, but they won't. Street Profits, Alpha Academy, 12 minutes. This was a very good match. The Street Profits look great. Alpha Academy, Chad Gable's unbelievable. Otis is just the fun big fat guy. They did a spot where Montez Ford gave Otis this awesome. You know what 2022 is? It's the year of the body slam. There's never been a better year for body slam since 1987. They had that body slam where Rhea Ripley gave that body slam to Gallows. And, dude, she lifted that. And, obviously, when you do a body slam, the other person helps you a little bit. But, I mean, they're going up for you. But, you know, how great it looks at the end also depends on if you can hold them there for a second. You know, like Luger couldn't hold Yokozuna. So Yokozuna went up for him, and it was kind of like a side world's strongest slam. But, man, Gallows starts going up for Rhea Ripley. And, man, she held him with one arm. And then she takes the other arm and tipped him over. That was awesome. And then, man, Montez Ford gave the world's slowest, most dramatic body slam to Otis in this match. He picked this dude up. He turned him over. He held him, and then Kabe It was so awesome. And then he hit the big splash at the end. He's coming off a, uh, you know, calf injury. You know your calf is. It's not a baby cow. It's a muscle in your leg that is used to jump. Well, his was ruined. It was he was hurt. And then he came back and he jumped higher than ever off that top rope for this big splash. So. Holy smokes. Then we had an Austin Theory promo, tough guy promo, you know the gimmick. And then out comes Seth Rollins. It is my it is my weekly chance to tell you how much I hate, I hate this gimmick. No, I don't want to hear, hey, I know you hate it, but the people love it. They love to sing. Dude, they'd love to sing whether he came out in women's lingerie or not. I don't know what this dude was wearing. And it's one thing if you... Come out in women's lingerie because, like, your gimmick is you wear women's lingerie. That's fine. Whatever. But I don't think that's Seth's gimmick. I don't know what his gimmick is. He comes out in a stupid outfit. He lost his title the night before. His main concern is, hey, you know, before I talk to you, I want to hear the people sing my song. They sing his song. Then he's laughing. He's doing comedy. And then, you know, he wants a match, but, but uh, Theory says no. And then Rollins says, well... Congratulations, kid. Ha 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 ha! It is a stupid laugh. I'm like, dude, this gimmick sucks. It sucks. So then it was over, and I was over it. Dexter Loomis and the Miz. Ten minutes, not a lot of heat. Dexter Loomis beat him up, and he beat him up, and he beat him up, and he beat him up. Miz got one into the buckle, roll up, feet on the ropes, near fall. And then Dexter choked him out, one. And then Dexter got his bag of money, 
and he's handing out money to all the kids. Miz jumps him from behind. He steals money from a child. He takes money from a little kid, $100. Fans are furious. But then Gargano comes out, come bam takes the money from Miz and gives it back to the little kid. Everyone's so happy. Him and Dexter do the thumbs up. And you know what? This storyline sucked. It sucked. But the one difference between Triple H and Vince is that Vince would do storylines that sucked, but they would have no beginning, middle, and end. It would just be, this sucks. Remember the egg? What was the payoff for the golden egg? There was no payoff. It just sucked. Everything about it sucked. There was no story. This sucked, but you know what? It was a story with a beginning. It was a story with the middle. We found out what was actually going on. Then it built to the the payoff, the end. They paid it off. They had a happy ending. A kid got $100, and you know what? Fine. But can we move on now from the Miz and Dexter Loomis? Candice LeRae beat Dakota Kai. They had a good match. Candice won. She's getting her revenge. And then in the main event, Kevin Owens, Jey Uso, 21 minutes. They're setting up Kevin Owens for a feud with Roman Reigns. So, man, it was looking dire. But then he hit that stunner, got the pin, and they got out of there. Kevin Owens with the win. Great match between two injured guys, as I'll talk about after the break. Wrestling Observer Live. Oh, yeah. Kevin Owens, bad knee. Jey Uso, broken hand. And, man, they got in there, and you would never know they were hurt. They worked so hard, and they had such a good match, and the near falls at the end were awesome. Flying super kicks and stuff like that. And then finally that big uh, kaboom. The big stunner for the pin. And, man, they're going to try. And they got they got six weeks, but it's just hard when you got a Roman Reigns that you've built up so strong and you never give anybody anything on the guy. What it leads to is nobody believing anybody's going to beat him. He leaves with a Hulk Hogan. It was like Earthquake squashed him on the Brother Love Show. And you think, maybe. Man. But anyway, that was Raw. That was a uh, fine show. We'll get the ratings. I think we'll get the ratings uh, soon. But you know how it is when holidays come up. Throws Nielsen off for weeks here in 2022. Awfully hard to push those buttons. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> My laughing gear. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, wrestle uh, load? <laughs> and Brian Hawks. I, I don't. That's what he got paid after his show. I don't. I don't know what wrestle load is. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. It's Russell Cade. Oh, oh that good. makes more sense. Where'd Brian go? <laughs> he's recuperating. He's, he's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> Sheesh. I have oh, never. I have. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.